Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sheet Have Review and Reactions and today we're going to watch three little new year functions or traditions in Russia. Yes, so Russia has different kind of tradition to celebrate in Russia. So uh, they do different things in new year. So let's watch this video and learn about the Russia's way to celebrate New Year. So let's watch the video and wait on the news. New Year's Eve is Russia's biggest holiday and to celebrate it we do a whole load of really odd things. Okay. We eat tons of tangerines we attend the yolka uh yes the fir tree <laughs> and the whole country completely ignores firework kind bans of thing, in yeah. residential areas i want to tell you about how these weird and wonderful yule They're traditions different came about. kind of things And this is from Russian Beyond Channel, right? So, this is the really Russian 1 New Year's Eve so, is more important to Russians see, than Christmas. What is happening? Decades of atheism in the USSR kind of cancelled out Christmas celebrations, so people needed a new holiday, something that they could focus on. And New Year's Eve atheism. was the perfect fit. This is how it goes a decorated fir tree with presents underneath. A rich festive table, okay. olivier salad, and sparkling wine. A splitting headache and a hangover. Ten day long holidays in January. The president's New Year's address and Soviet films on every channel. Hmm, but something's missing. What? Yolka, and yes, it's a term. Yolka the fir tree also known as the christmas tree has actually two meanings in russian first off as you can see yes it's an evergreen tree that we decorate for the season but secondly it's what we call the main seasonal kids party yolka new year's eve wasn't very popular in early soviet years the celebration was considered slightly too bourgeois but it grew in popularity towards the mid 30s and that's when a centralized children's activity was invented Davarishe would get together and put together an ideologically appropriate show with singing dancing and even gift giving for small children kids would wear their nicest clothes or carnival costumes and prepare okay. songs poems that they could recite sometimes dance little dances and all of this the whole was Christmas and still was is a called a lie. yolka they yolka can lie. be relatively private held in preschools for example for a smaller audience or mm. a yolka can be huge like russia's biggest yolka held in the kremlin with celebrities performing and swanky gifts much has changed over the years, of course, but one thing stays the same, and that's costumes, wearing carnival costumes, I mean. Soviet children, they used to dress up as doctors, cosmonauts, sometimes even as the constitution of the USSR. Yes, that happened. Modern kids here in Russia are most often seen as bunnies, snowflakes, and what well, has Bunch. to be mentioned sometimes, Vladimir Putin. Tangerines. Putin is the best. Tangerines or clementines are firmly associated with New Year's in Russia, and there's a reason. It was always a custom to greet New Year's Eve in abundance, bringing the best possible food to the table. Alcohol, fruit, and quality yeah, meat was hard this to get by food. in the USSR. Exotic no. fruits like pineapples, bananas, pineapple. or kiwis they, didn't they grow in the Soviet food. Union. Seasonal Do they fruits have like apples or berries no. were all but preserves come December. So, tangerines from Abkhazia took the limelight and saved us all. Abkhazia was a small southern republic of the USSR back then. It's located in the South Caucasus near the Black Sea. 
with its subtropical climate, Abkhazia harvests tangerines in December, Manta. just in time for the festive season. And this is the smell of New Year's Eve all across Russia. Fireworks. Find someone who loves you as much as Russians love their fireworks and never let go of them. Seriously, just look at these numbers. According to a 2019 interview with top okay. Russian retailers and producers of pyrotechnics, they India, make 92% of their annual firework sales in just three months. Guess them. Yeah, November, December so and January. And these are just Once numbers from time. legal sales. Pyrotechnics is a heavily regulated industry with tons of paperwork and licensing. So not every retailer, as you can imagine, is eager to comply uh, with these kind of standards. And there's a booming gray market for fireworks trading illegally and even <laughs> selling to minors, which is completely <laughs> prohibited by law. And one can only make estimates on that gray market's worth. In the end, Russians love pyrotechnics way too much. Each holiday, people are hospitalized with injuries and some cases are even fatal. Yes, that is going to be happening. But even when limbs stay intact, uh, sleeping on a New Year's night is not an option. Fireworks will go off until sunrise, scaring pets and small children, mind you. It's illegal to set fireworks off near residential buildings. As if anyone ever complies. That was your idea. I do not know who loves their New Year's Eve more than Russians do. Together with a 10 day holiday in January, it's our number one holiday of the year. Russian winters are long and <laughs> this dark, is also taken so from we the crave this Americans. bit of seasonal <laughs> magic. And let's be honest, how the, how, a 10-day reset before the start that of a new you have year taken from is a great way to recharge. And you have taken I from love Romans. my 10-day holidays, really looking forward. <sighs> Literally, I just hope that next year will be a little bit less extreme. I think we all deserve a bit of kindness. Happy New Year to all of you. I hope it goes well. We just do the whole shebang. Okay, that's it. That's cool video to watch. I don't know what I have seen. I have seen and learned about three little, three little things in New Year that happens in Russia. And those are mostly Yokos and some alternative of Christmas and some thing about the fruit. That was called Termining or something, I don't, know, I don't remember what is the food name, but it was cool. I think that was Malta. Or we have also learned about the show that was happened in Russia while mm, New Year's Eve, and they have 10 days of holidays every year. And they also have fireworks all times. And this, these are the things and the tradition, new tradition of Russia. And that's great, that's cool. So, what do you think about Russia's these traditions? Please let me know in the comment box and subscribe my channel and share the video, man. Thank you for watching. Peace, man. Subscribe now. Your subscription is needed. That's it. Only it. Thank you for watching. Peace. Subscribe. Oh, and I have also forgotten. Forgot. Forget. I don't know what I'm saying, but please let me know what do you want to see next in this channel and what do you want to me to uh, me to react on and be happy man be safe and subscribe man your subscription is always needed that's the main thing man so subscribe and share this video and you know that Russians are good at doing things Russians are good at doing things in water in ice and they are also really really good at just doing fights and their fights are always 
or not always sometimes own or sometimes lost so that's it subscribe my channel and share this video thank you for watching peace subscribe now